Nearly a year ago, I made a video about why I believe Chinese cars are going to rise exponentially in popularity. This is mainly due to their electric vehicles, which are much cheaper than those made in Europe. In theory, governments should be over the moon with this, as it promotes motoring with less reliance on fossil fuels. However, this couldn't be much further from the truth, as the EU is going to raise taxes on importing EVs made in China from 10% to 45% for the next 5 years. Considering petrol and diesel cars will be banned in the EU in 2035, and selling EVs hasn't been easy this year, it seems nonsensical to impose these tariffs, with the intention of making them less competitive and possibly forcing them out of the market to some extent. In this video, I'll explain what is happening and why, the reactions to it, and update you on the overall state of the electric car market, particularly surrounding sales and the possible future of Chinese electric vehicles. As always, if you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe and let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. The reason why there are tariffs on these cars is pretty simple. Governments want EVs produced in Europe to be more competitive. Look at the UK market for example. The cheapest electric car by quite a way, the Dacia Spring, starts at just under £15,000 and it's built in China. The next cheapest EV, the Citroen EC3, starts at £7,000 more than the Dacia and is built in Slovakia, somewhere many major car brands have set up factories in recent years in an attempt to cut costs. In total, there are four Chinese built cars in the top 10 cheapest electric vehicles on sale in Britain, with the BYD Dolphin and 2MGs adding to the Dacia. The 2MGs in particular have been very popular offering very impressive specifications for the money. The 2MGs in particular have been very popular, offering very impressive specifications for the money. On this evidence, it's obvious why the EU is putting this tariff on these cars. Legacy manufacturers just can't compete. This is just the beginning, as there are more and more Chinese manufacturers moving into Western markets. I should say now that my native UK has not yet announced any tariffs, and it hasn't really been discussed in Parliament. So if any are to come, it will take a while. Reports say that action is unlikely over fears of a trade war with China. Though a survey, albeit with a small number of participants, found that 61% of people think that the UK should impose tariffs. However, it's also reports that 43% of them believe more needs to be done to protect existing UK car manufacturers, despite very few companies actually making cars here on a great scale, excluding only Nissan, who obviously aren't even British so I'd take it with a pinch of salt. The US has also put an outrageous 100% tariff on Chinese electric vehicles, although they are less prevalent stateside, and I imagine they will continue to be with that level of tariffs. I'll now explain why I think it makes little to no sense to do this. First off, if the EU wants to hit its targets surrounding EV sales and banning petrol and diesel car sales without causing carnage, Chinese EVs will be absolutely crucial to this. They offer a significantly lower entry price as there is cheaper labour and electric vehicle production is subsidised, bringing the cost down further. Which makes me question why there has been no mention of subsidising the production of electric vehicles in Europe, perhaps to persuade European manufacturers to keep producing in the EU rather than looking elsewhere to keep costs down. Manufacturers like Volkswagen and BMW have criticised the decision calling it the wrong approach and a fatal signal for the European motoring industry respectively. If the very companies competing with the manufacturers in China are calling the decision wrong, what does that say about it? Granted, they both have partnerships with Chinese companies and may have been looking at moving their production to the Asian country, but it's still damning that two of the biggest players in the market think the decision is the wrong move. Uber has also criticised the decision essentially saying that Chinese EVs are beneficial as they're cheaper and should increase the number of people driving electric vehicles, particularly Uber drivers who do significantly more miles than the average driver, meaning the reduction in emissions is greater. Again, they have a partnership, this time with BYD, so it could be argued that this is in their own self-interest, but the points are still logical and very valid. Also, if there is a problem with Chinese goods being cheaper than those made in Europe, therefore outselling them, the EU needs to take a look at almost every other product market and look where these goods are being produced. Like it or not, there's really nothing we can do to get rid of cheaper Chinese goods, so it seems odd that electric cars, which are being deemed as a positive thing and for the benefit of the future, are being targeted. 
It could also spark a trade war or problems with China, as the EU and the USA are essentially trying to stop Chinese brands establishing themselves in a growing market. Protectionism can often lead to retaliation, so if there is no resolution, European brands could be hit hard by the Chinese government at a time when they are still trying to establish themselves and gain market share in China, which is obviously a massive audience and is becoming increasingly important to European brands. Like I've already mentioned, some European manufacturers have interest in Chinese EVs through partnership or ownership, such as Stellantis, who owns a 51% stake in the international arm of Chinese manufacturer Leap Motor. This means Stellantis, a behemoth of a car group with plenty of European and American brands, will be hurt by these tariffs. This is despite the parent company owning a large number of brands that these tariffs are supposedly seeking to protect. Therefore, this somewhat limits the value of the tariffs as they are indirectly affecting European and American companies as well. Competition from Chinese manufacturers would also more than likely bring down prices across the market, especially if they sell well at a lower price point. This is obviously good for buyers as they are able to buy an EV at a lower price and have more choice at the affordable end of the market. Good for businesses as they can buy electric vehicles at a cheaper price and good for hitting emissions and EV sales targets for governments. If the EU really wants more electric vehicles to be sold and lower emissions, they wouldn't have these tariffs. Also going back to an earlier point, if they truly wanted to promote the sale of these electric vehicles, the production or purchase of European EVs could be subsidised. Obviously this is expensive, but it doesn't limit choice and isn't anywhere near as confrontational as imposing harsh tariffs. It seems strange that a tariff has been announced now when the electric market seems to be struggling. The number of EVs sold as a proportion of all vehicles is around 18% in the UK, when a target for this year is 22%. Manufacturers will be fined £15,000 for each car that isn't electric that exceeds the target. EVs are still predominantly present in fleets, as 76% last month were bought for them, and it is forecasted there will be £2 billion in discounts on electric cars by the end of the year. More diesel cars were bought in September in Britain than electric vehicles, showing there is still a major problem for EV adoption, at least in terms of government targets. There are similar problems in mainland Europe too. It was still a record month for electric sales, but proportionally it was poor compared to the government targets. Therefore, if Chinese EVs can increase sales, they have to be a good thing, surely. If legacy brands are going to be punished for not selling electric vehicles, they will have to manipulate the prices of them, even making petrol and diesels ridiculously expensive, or quitting the price of EVs massively. In which case, they could be priced similarly to the Chinese offerings that are now being taxed at a higher rate. In conclusion, it's quite obvious that I can't really see the point of these tariffs. They're anti-competition, make it harder to buy an affordable EV, and could ultimately lead to trade problems, particularly in the automotive sector, which is already in a somewhat precarious situation. Hopefully, the dismay of major players in the industry will lead to a reconsideration and stop the UK from implementing them, but it seems that common sense is not at play here.